Ezra, my second child and my only son. You are what I've been dreaming for ever since I was a kid, to have a son of my own. To me, it's important to have your father in your life because you'll most likely take on similar traits and ways of thinking that will impact your decisions in life which ultimately only your dad can understand and sympathize with. While your grandpa is an amazing man who has taught me a lot and always been supportive of me and our family, I know that there are things that he can't relate to or grasp because of how differently our minds work. Life would have been a lot easier if my dad had been there to help make sense of my mental growth. And because of that, I will make you a promise. I will always be there to guide you in life with love, compassion, and as much advice as I can give you. I will always be by your side through the good and bad times. Your well-being will always be my first concern, but I will discipline you when necessary. And I will always be there to help when you ask for it, but I will push you when I know that you can handle life's unfair obstacles. I hope we have an unbreakable bond, and I can't wait to watch you grow and develop into the strong man I know you can be. I love you. Happy birthday. Dear Ezra, I don't think there is enough positive words in the universe to explain just how euphoric bringing you into this world has been. I know people say your father and I chose to have you, but I know deep down inside, you picked me to be your mommy, and for that, I will always be grateful. I can never have imagined having a baby with so much joy, love, and tenderness in his heart at such a young age. You literally light up any room with your giant smile and contagious laugh, and your determination to figure things out on your own is so inspiring. I just want you to look back on this video and know mommy will always be here for you. And I hope we can grow to have a strong relationship to where you know I will always be there first and judge second. May you never think mom's going to kill me for this. But no, mom's always going to be there when I need him most. I can't wait to see what your future holds. I love you, Bubba. Love, mommy. You wave hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Baba, you see your birthday message? I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost one, in conversations. Two, three. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Ready? Are you gonna help you brother? Come here. Help brother. One, two, three, clap. Yay! Yay. 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 What is that? Make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever. We've totally done this day all backwards, but um, we sang happy birthday first because we wanted our family to at least um, participate on like a Zoom slash Facebook call, um, which was not as easy as you would think it was, but we at least got to sing happy birthday to him and he's just being really neat about his smash cake, but this is a bigger step than Aria because Aria did not even like touch her cake. And Eric thinks we just gave her a small cupcake. I can't remember, I thought she had a separate cake. He's just having fun with his little lightsaber, eating your cake, huh? Is it good? Yum? Yeah. And then I pulled out um, all the, like, the snacks and stuff, except for the waffles, because it's still pretty early in the day and we just had lunch. Um, but this is Yoda soda, some chips, um, and I warmed up the cheese dip so it's in the microwave. Um, and then Eric picked up these churros from where? 
Chuck E. Cheese? Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese had the churros. Oh, unicorn churros. So it came in green, um, red, and blue, but we used them as little lightsaber churros. And then these are just oatmeal cookies. Um, I made cake pop balls with the lightsabers. And then for this, we grabbed some pool noodles. Um, Eric cut them in half, so we are going to decorate them and build our own lightsabers. So if you watch the first half of this, um, where we just like set up and decorated, I mentioned I wanted to take the family to Disneyland for um, Galaxy's Edge. And at Galaxy's Edge, you can build your own lightsabers. We actually have lightsabers here. I got them for Eric. Um, but I thought this would be a cool little like activity to do for the family. Um, but you just need pool noodles, duct tape, and electrical tape. Super easy. And this would be a fun little activity. I know we're all still stuck in the house. So if you have kids and you're looking for something to do, this is a cheap way to keep them entertained. Gotta make it look like your lightsaber. Ooh. Oh, looking good. All right, he's getting into his presents. You want to open some? We're done. Okay. But it's brothers, okay? So you got to be good. There you go. bumped his head <laughs> yeah you're okay but we are gonna give little dude a bath he is covered in cake and sugar huh and, and um, what do we have waffles even though this was not what I originally had planned this was still a really nice day and I think one thing like quarantine has gotten to me and I'm sure it's like frustrating for everybody but it's definitely taught me to just kind of go with the flow a little bit more and I'm the type of person my expectations get like super high and then I get really disappointed when things don't like work out the right way but this has taught me like that stuff definitely does not matter. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with us and just being with us over the past two years on the channel and watching our journey through motherhood um, as I navigate it the best I know how but as always guys I love you and I'll see you in the next one.